Hello everyone, you're very welcome, thanks for dropping by. Okay, so today we're messing around with some solar stuff. Um, I've set up, I'm going to show you now in a second, but I've set up a little box here to my left. And uh, in that box I've got two probes, two pieces of pipe. One of the pipes is three quarter and painted black, and the other one is half inch. And it's just, you know, it's got its natural kind of um, patina on it. Uh, so, anyway, I wanted to see what the difference was between something that was flat black and something that was just kind of normal, not shiny, but you know, metal. This copper has been oxidized, it's been out in the sun or out in the weather for a while. But in any case, um, yeah, th there is a significant difference. What I've done here too is I've got a um, double glazed window pane, uh, just a window <laughs> taken off a job somewhere. So, I, and what I've done is I've made a little box behind that window uh, with some one inch insulation, high density insulation, silvered on both sides, and I painted one side of it black. And then I surrounded that, stepped it away from the glass so that I could fit some pipe in. And I've got two bits of pipe. So I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so we've got some great sunshine here, spring sunshine uh, in Ireland for a change. <laughs> anyway, I won't complain. It's great to have it. Okay, so this top pipe here, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a, there is a pipe there. I'll, I'll open it up in a minute. Uh, that's three quarter inch copper pipe and it's painted black. It's got a probe in it. And the top probe is this temperature here. So we're getting 79 degrees centigrade. I put up on the screen what that is in Fahrenheit. So 79 centigrade, which is amazing, right? And we've got 68. So there's about you know 11 degrees of a differential between just the colours. They're both stepped up off the um, off the base, you know, so that plenty of sunshine can wrap the pipe, and um, and they're sitting against some insulation. They're not touching the glass. They're three or four mil back from the glass, um, and leaning against the insulation. So two probes. One at 67 now is the one that's not painted black. I want a 79. Now 79 degrees centigrade for, for me here is a definite runner. Um, I tried kind of a plastic bottle thing with some plastic pipe um, a little while ago and uh, it was non-runner. It got to about 35 degrees which was great but not, not enough. But 79 C is, is brilliant. It means um, you know I don't have to worry about bacteria, legionella or whatever in the water um, because it'll die off at about 60. So this is spring sunshine. We can expect now we're heading on for midday here too, and we can expect you know another few months of this when it's not raining. Uh, it's Ireland anyway. So look, um, 67 now at the minute, 79, very bright sunshine, and it's going well. Okay, so just to explain the box, this is just some inch and a quarter timber, um, hot glued, dabbed onto the glass just to hold it there. So I just put a divider in, which was insulated. And that's just, you know, to act as a separator. Uh, if I had more timber, I would have used it. Um, and the, the, the whole enclosure is sealed off so that we can't get air blowing by cooling down the pipes. So the temperatures you're seeing in there are... Uh, and also, I blocked out the pipes so that we wouldn't have air flowing through the pipe, cooling them down or giving them, giving them an advantage because we're going to have water in that. It's going to be sealed uh, in any case. So 79 and 67 is brilliant. So that's your update with regard to the solar. Now, um, it's actually gone up to 83 degrees now on the top pipe. Uh, it's not significant where the pipes are placed. What is significant is the fact that the, the top pipe is black, uh, flat black, and it's made, uh, what? Jeez, it's made an awful lot of a difference. It's made like 14, 15 degrees of a difference in uh, degree C, which is a lot. But 84, that's, that's fantastic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some uh, insulation behind this, this window. So I'm going to stand the window, put some insulation behind it, put a spacer um, to separate the insulation from the back of the window so I can fit some pipe on it. Maybe some black metal plate, um, fix the pipe to the plate so that uh, its surface area is enlarged and then pass water through it. Seal it all up around the sides um, with foam and timber and uh, weatherproof it and then I'm going to put it on the shed. Um, gable wall because the, the roof is like this east and west and it, it's no use to me um, it would pick up evening sun or morning sun but you know the high intensity heat it would be uh, angled away from it okay so that's it now for the solar and with little more than you know a meter a couple of meters and um, you know messing around on the back of a window I can find out before I even kind of start going into production I can find out you know what it's going to take to make a solar panel and uh, in my case I just need an old window and um, double glazed units in it and uh, just you know I'm going to put some insulation behind it and some copper and uh, and that's it and uh, before I even go at it I know that I can achieve an excess of 80 degrees centigrade and I'll, I'll put that up here somewhere 
but 80 degrees C in excess of, you know, in springtime here is, is fantastic. So that's going to be continually pumped down from that um, into a storage um, vessel uh, cylinder, you know, hot water cylinder, hot water storage, and uh, and I'll probably do some sort of a drain back system. All of that is very easy to do. The hard part was to find out if um, if it was worth doing. And you know, with just a few minutes messing around at the back of um, a double glazed unit, it was very easy to find out. So I would presume in summer um, I would be getting much higher temperatures. Not presume, I will be getting much higher temperatures. Uh, you know, the days will be longer, the sun will be higher and stuff like that. But um, anyway, that's it for now. So look, um, I'll, I'll progress this further, um, you know, over the next couple of weeks. So if you liked the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.